Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be walking around and showing you guys a castle in Japan. Specifically, I'm going to be showing you all Matsumoto Castle, which is a Japanese castle from the 1500s, and it was pretty notable in the Edo period, although don't quote me on that because I'm not really up on my Japanese history. I think I read that on a sign somewhere around here, but I really can't remember correctly in all honesty. Uh, this is one of three super notable Japanese castles. There's Himeji Castle, there's another castle, and then there's Matsumoto Castle. And this is such a badass, awesome looking castle. I love it, y'all. I've seen photos of it online before I ever came to Japan. And I always thought it looked so cool. And I'm so glad to have the opportunity to look at it with my own two eyes and to be able to share my experience with you guys today. I'm gonna to be walking around the grounds just a little bit. The Surrounding the castle itself, there's a park. So I'm just gonna be walking around the grounds a little bit. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and pay the 700 yen admission fee to actually be able to go inside the castle. 700 yen converts to about, I wanna say $5 USD. And then after that, after I pay the admission fee, I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and show you guys the inside of the castle, unless they don't let me vlog on the inside of the castle, which then y'all are just gonna be seeing the outside of the castle and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the castle without y'all, but hopefully they do let me vlog on the inside of the castle because it would be a little bit of a bummer if they don't. And yeah, that's pretty much the plan for today's video. I basically just wanted to show y'all this uh, super awesome looking castle because it looks it looks so cool, y'all. It looks so cool. Let me, just, uh, let me just zoom in there just a little bit. Ooh. It looks so cool, y'all. It looks so cool. Man, this castle just looks so cool, y'all. But I do think now I'm going to go ahead and just start walking around the grounds just a little bit and just showing you guys what the park around the castle actually looks like. It's very well maintained. Apparently, the castle is entirely non-rebuilt. Uh, there's like some gates and bridges have been rebuilt, but the actual castle itself hasn't been rebuilt or anything like that kind of thing, which I think is super cool. And yeah, no, I ain't going to lie, y'all. Look at that. It just looks so absolutely badass. I mean, like, you got the black exterior with the cream accents. It looks so good, y'all. It looks so good. I I love how this castle looks. It just looks so awesome. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Man. It just looks so cool. Get my sunglasses out real quick. It's a little bit sunny. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It's a beautiful day today though. It is a little bit chilly. It's like 45 degrees out here right now. I want to say, if not a little bit chillier, but it's not too bad at all. It's a beautiful day to come look at a castle and there are indeed some fish in the pond as well. You know, there's some fish in the pond and everything like that kind of thing. So apparently the castle has two moats. This is the first moat and then there's a second moat that honestly I didn't see. I don't know if it even still exists, but apparently this castle has two moats and it has a bunch of fortifications it started off as a small castle and then it got bigger and bigger and bigger and this is the final this is the final result and honestly yeah no it, it looks great it looks great i i absolutely love it i'm gonna go ahead and continue walking though because i can't have this video being like an hour long you know what i'm saying or i guess i could but i don't want it to be an hour long let me just put it that way because i got i got plans i got plans you know what i'm saying people in there they balling on me right now y'all man what a tourist stupid tourist can't believe i can't believe me i'm being a, i'm being a stupid tourist right now but i mean like hey i can't get i can't help but get hyped over a over a badass castle what can i say let's go ahead and see if they'll let me go inside with my camera running though i got my money in my pocket so i don't gotta whip out my wallet or nothing like that i probably should put my mask on i think they're probably gonna want my mask to be on so i'll go ahead and do that real quick while i take off my sunglasses as well let's go and grab a ticket 700 yen i said not too bad now let's see what this castle is all about konnichiwa just uh one Thank you very much. Here we go, Tokuzamos. And there we go, y'all. The ticket office people were very nice. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. And here we go. I have my admission ticket now. And I also have my a National Treasure Matsumoto Castle 
guidebook with a beautiful picture of Matsumoto Castle on it. <laughs> Route to Tower. Right, that's what I need. They got bathrooms and everything. They got vending machines here. Oh, sweet. I'm tempted to get myself some water. I might just go ahead and do that. My throat be needing some water right now. It's 110 yen. I've got 300 yen on me and change, so I should be all good to do that. I bet. Let's go and take the change. Oh. Got a bunch of change, nice. Grab all of that. Oh, these are all 10 yen. Nice. Let's grab my water. If I can. Ah, struggling right now. Feeling much better now, y'all. I think it's now time for me to go ahead and see if I can use my admission ticket to actually see the castle. So let's go do just that, y'all. I love how the castle looks from this angle, but it looks like we can't go in this way, which I suppose is the main entrance. So we've got to go this way. All right, big bet. No shoes. Thank you very much. Can you stop your camera? Include stairs. Oh, no stairs. Okay. Okay, so apparently I'm allowed to take photos everywhere but the stairs. So I'm just gonna be putting my phone in my pocket whenever I go up the stairs. <laughs> but they got some, they got some structure of castle wall, part of the original castle preserved during the show period. Maximum thickness of 29.4 centimeter. This walk can even withstand musket fire. That's pretty cool. A pair of Saichi from the main keep. Okay. So here's one and then there's the other. That's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs, which means, yeah, I'm gonna go and go up the route that I need to put my phone in the park. Here's some muskets. Yeah, I definitely see why they don't let people film on the stairs. They are insanely steep. No, I totally see why they don't allow it. The stairs are so steep, it's absolutely crazy. So here's some muskets. This is pretty cool stuff. They shooting, they flexing, you know, the basic. There's some pretty good guns, I ain't gonna lie. I'd love to shoot one of them. Some more weapons over here. Man, I can't complain. I wasn't expecting to see weapons today, but it is a castle after all. It makes sense. I don't know what any of the kanji, kanji means, but either way, I've got no complaints on my behalf. And let's take a look outside real quick. Look at that, y'all. We're already that high up. And man, look at that beautiful view. I totally see why they wanted to build a castle here. Because this is a good location, I ain't gonna lie on. Here's some more, uh, here's some more, I guess these are flintlocks, right? Flintlock guns? Muskets? I don't know anything about muskets. I have no clue. Ask me about more modern guns, I might know something. <laughs> Maybe. Flintlocks, muskets, I know nothing though, but these are still really cool. And I guess those are some of the bullets they might be shooting. Interesting. Oh, now I get to a really cool part. We get to a suit of armor. Come on, how much more cool can you get than this? How much more cool can you get than this? Look at this man. He is just flexing right now. He got the drip, you know what I'm saying? He got the drip. Here's some more modern guns, though. So we have some, we still have a flintlock. Here's a flintlock pistol. There's a couple other flintlock pistols. But here's some revolvers as well which is pretty cool. Colt, oh, Colt model police, uh, Colt police model 1862. I've watched a YouTube video about that. 1861, 1851. That's pretty cool. So I guess, because the this castle was in service until like 1880 something, I want to say. So it makes sense why they'd have revolvers here uh, because, well, they were around in the 1880s. Cowboy guns, you know what I'm saying? That revolver in the middle right there, though, has an insane amount of chambers that does not seem effective to me. Oh, it's a double barrel. Bro, what? It's a double barrel revolver. That's dope as hell. That's dope as hell. 
That's super sick. I want a double barrel revolver, bro. That's sick. Some more flint locks or muskets. Oh, they have stuff explaining the kanji. Oh, that's nice. I don't know what any of this is. I have no clue. See, oh, secret guns. Guns were cleverly hidden in various ways, such as in the hilt of a short sword. Short, short sword. So we have, is this a gun? This is a gun? This is a gun. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay, I get it now. Okay, so wait. No, I don't get it at all. And here are some absolutely massive bazookas. So I guess these are what they consider to be cannons. These are pretty huge, I ain't gonna lie, although I, I don't know if I'd call them cannons. Maybe the cannons are over there. I don't know, these are just really huge. This looks like, like an old Fort Lock shotgun or something. I mean, my feet are getting cold because I ain't got no shoes on. Y'all ain't getting no feet fixed though. Interesting. And then we have some more guns right here. Did I already take a look at these? I don't think I did. These are some pretty cool guns as well, though. And I'm going to put my phone away because... This view is beautiful, y'all. Well, that's why they don't allow filming on the stairs. These stairs are really damn steep. So we're getting up towards the top now. And let me tell you what, those stairs were insane. Those are probably the steepest stairs I have ever been on. And here we go. Beautiful view, y'all. So I'm currently at the sixth floor, which is the final floor. Let's take a look at the view. Oh, so we can see the mountains here too. Look at that view. Absolutely gorgeous, y'all. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna take a look at one of the other views and then I think I'm gonna get out of here. Beautiful view, beautiful view. I think I'm gonna go ahead and head back down y'all. So now I've gone down two floors, which were insanely steep stairs. I 100% see why they don't allow people to film on the stairs. People would be falling down head first and dying. So apparently the fourth floor is different than the other floors because it has fewer pillars, more windows and a higher ceiling so that it can be well lit and appears wide. Interesting. Yo, what's up, MTV? Welcome to my crib. I don't think any anybody's got anything on me. This is the ultimate crib. Cool. Alrighty, y'all, I made it down I think two more floors, which both of the stairs from both floors were insanely steep once again, no surprise there. Here we go, here's something I'm interested in. They got a kiss room pipe and go. Here we go, okay. I've played go once in my life, I still don't understand it, but what I do understand is the kiss room pipe. That's really cool. The city of Matsumoto used to be a center for tobacco production. Oh, what? These pipes were excavated from the ruins of the second palace along with the playing pieces used in Go, a Japanese strategy board game. That is really cool. That's so cool. They've got some coins too. Coins are, I'm a sucker for antique coins as well. And so these antique coins are really cool. Coins used in Japan, China, and the Korean Peninsula that are excavated from the, Korean, from the castle unions. Sweet. Now this is a cool smoking room. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Look at this. You got three, almost, almost 300. You got like 270 degree angle view of the entire city, of your grounds. You just flexing on everybody. This, I guarantee they made this as a smoking room because this is just so cool. <laughs> this is a perfect smoking room. This is badass, y'all. This is so cool. Man. 
This is so cool. I know I keep saying that, but it really is. Alrighty though, y'all, and uh, we're outie. Oh man, that's badass. So damn cool. So the, the oldest one of them. That's what it was leading me to believe on the inside. It's the old, it was one of the oldest uh, still, still standing castles in Japan. I don't think there's too much else for me to show y'all. I do know though, I want to go have a cigarette. I do know that. And I also know that there's a smoking area here. And I know where it is. I haven't smoked a cigarette in that smoking area yet, but I do want to. Was that worth the money? Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, like I got to go inside a badass castle. 100% worth the money. Looks like we've got some sort of like festival going on or something like that. Not exactly sure. Alrighty though. I'm gonna go ahead and walk all the way over to the smoking room and uh, or the smoking area. And then I'm gonna have smoke and I think I'm gonna finish off the video all right there. Mazda 3, I see a Mazda 3. Oh, it's called a Mazda Avenza here. What the hell? No, 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 Mazda 3 is the only proper name for it. That's what I'd be saying. Smoking area is over here. I think I'm gonna have a smoke in a minute and uh, finish off the video right there. I think that's my plan. Look at the view from here, y'all though. The view is beautiful. I'm gonna go and have a smoke though. Oh, smoking area. Where's the ashtray? Oh, there we go, sweet. Smoking area. Got some very nice, very clean ashtrays, if I do say so myself. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Let's go ahead and get one of my cigarettes out. I've got a seven stars with me today. So I'm get one of these out. Put it back in my pocket. Now let's go ahead and get this all lit up. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. Well, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching my video where I went to a historic castle in Japan. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can show y'all it. Hell yeah, hell yeah. It's a pretty sick castle, I ain't gonna lie. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. I know it's a little bit of a different video, but I've had so much fun making. It's been so much fun just walking around, just showing you guys what I'm seeing kind of thing. It's been so much fun, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching. If you guys have enjoyed watching, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. And if you guys are ever in Japan and you have the opportunity to, if you if you guys are ever in Japan and you have the opportunity to visit Matsumoto Castle, do it. Take it up kind of thing. It's worth the 700 yen admission fee. It's pretty cool to see kind of thing. It's pretty cool to see. I certainly did not mind spending the money. And either way, even if you don't want to spend the 700 yen, it's cool to just go look at in all honesty. But you know, thank you very much for watching y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace. Have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.